guys welcome back okay so today I decided I wanted to do a full face of affordable makeup and the reason why I say affordable makeup is because affordable is really a relative term so it's kind of like it depends on who's buying it whether or not it's affordable <laughs> you know so basically it's just products that are considered less or expensive that you can get from the drugstore maybe Ulta, maybe Target, you know, stuff like that, that is cheaper than the higher end stuff. You know what I mean? So I want to do a full face of that today. Now, hopefully you guys had a wonderful Thanksgiving, ate some good food, spent some time with your loved ones and, you know, just kind of relaxed and, and enjoyed the day. So I know I've been spending a lot of time just chilling. <laughs> And kind of, you know, playing around and fiddling around in makeup, but not really wanting to film. You know, sometimes you just kind of feel lazy like that. So that's what I've been doing, but it's been good. It's been really good. So yeah, let's get started. I'm going to start out with this e.l.f. Hello Hydration Face Cream. This is what it looks like. Um, e.l.f. have some really, really affordable products for skincare as well as makeup so i'm just gonna go in with some of this now this moisturizer has a very nice scent it's just kind of like a thick white cream i don't know if you can see that but it's a thick white cream consistency it absorbs into the skin very easily nicely quickly and it feels really good and it's gentle enough for everyday use you know morning evening whatever you want to do it feels really really nice so i like using this moisturizer um anytime anywhere <laughs> okay so now that our face is nicely moisturized i'm gonna go in with some of my elf lip plumping gloss I really, really like the e.l.f. lip plumping glosses <laughs> because they have a really nice, just subtle shine to them. They come in different colors. It has a nice little doe foot. And you can feel a slight tingle. So it's not anything like crazy to me or irritating, but I can feel that slight tingle. And this one, what shade is this? Cause this is like really nice and nude. Mocha Twist. <laughs> this one is Mocha Twist if you like how it looks on me. Very nice nude lip plumping gloss. Okay, so for brows today, I'm going in with my LA Girl Slim Shady Eyebrow Pencil. I love this eyebrow pencil because it does have a spoolie on one tip and the actual product itself, I don't know if you'll be able to see this, but the actual product is pretty thin. It's a pretty nice thin pencil to work with. So for me, it works out pretty nicely just to kind of, you know, draw in my brows and i like the color i think the shade that i use is blackest brown <laughs> so it's kind of like a combination between black and brown and you guys know i have a lot of eyebrows to be filled in okay <laughs> Now, for me personally, I don't necessarily focus too much on, you know, oh, I have to have the line strokes and everything in the front of my brows and stuff. It doesn't really bother me that much if, you know, it doesn't look 100% natural. <laughs> but I do like to use the spoolie just to kind of brush the product through, you know, whatever little bit of brows I do have and just kind of soften it a bit in the front. So it's not too, too harsh. Another thing I like about this pencil is that it is a twist up. You know, you don't have to sharpen it, but you have to be careful because it will break easily if you press down too hard. 
Okay, and so then when I have the basic shape of my brows down, I go in with this Wet n Wild Concealer. I use this all the time. This is in the shade Deep Cocoa or Dark Cocoa. It's rubbed off. <laughs> but yeah, I go in with this Wet n Wild Concealer and just clean up around my brows. And this concealer is so easy to use. It does have a doe foot applicator, but I like to go in with a flat brush and use that to clean up around my brows. It's just easier for me to go in with my own flat brush than to try to use the doe foot. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and do my eyes first today. But to prep my lids, I'm gonna go in with this L'Oreal Infallible Full Wear Concealer. <laughs> Very affordable at the drugstore. And I'm gonna use this for my primer today. Now I believe e.l.f has a eyeshadow primer, um, but I've never tried it, so I don't have any to use today. But you know, if you want to use this a specific primer for the eyes, you can do that as well, of course. I just don't have an affordable one. <laughs> so I'm using my concealer. Okay, and now for the fun part, I'm going to be using this e.l.f. Earth and Ocean Eyeshadow Palette. I have not tried this out yet. I know it's been out for a while. And I said, you know, since it's drugstore, let's go ahead and play with this baby today. So I think I'm going to go in kind of like over here on the green side. I wanna do a green eye look today and just kind of see how this palette works out for me. So I'm going to start out, what is that eyeshadow? You guys, I have, I don't know why, but I've gotten to this frenzy of depotting some of my palettes. So I kind of have like, you know, eyeshadow all over the place because sometimes it can get really messy depotting palettes, but I have been having so much fun depotting my palettes. I love it. <laughs> I'm really just depotting palettes that I have that I know I want to keep because there's some really nice shadows in there, but for some reason I don't reach for those palettes. So anyways, way off topic, but I've been having a lot of fun doing that. So I'll probably do a video talking about it or showing it or something later because I've really been enjoying it. So anyways, back to this palette. I'm going to stay in the green area and just kind of see what happens today. So I'm going to start out with this shade here, a nice tan kind of transition shade and place that on the upper portion of my lid. And there is a bit of kick up in the pan. I'm really just using this to kind of set that concealer down. So it's basically skin tone shade for me. Okay, so next to start into the green, I'm gonna go into this really pretty green shade here. And these shadows do have names. I'm sorry, I don't feel like putting my glasses on and off. So we just gonna point and click today, okay? <laughs> Keep it cute and casual. The shade is really pretty, nicely pigmented. I think it's working pretty well with me using that concealer as my base today. I wasn't sure, but I think it's working pretty well. Okay, so that's a very, very pretty green and it builds up nicely and easily. So, 
I think I want to deepen up my crease just a little bit. Uh, do I want to do a halo eye today? Yeah, let's do a halo eye today. Okay, so I'm going to go in with this shade here. So it's a little bit deeper. And I'm going to put that in my inner and outer corners and see how that looks. Okay, so that shadow is blending in nicely with the first shade. It's not that far off color-wise from the first shade when you blend them together. It's not showing a huge contrast, but these two colors do blend very nicely together. Okay, so now that I have my inner and outer corners deepened up a bit, I'm gonna go in with my Revolution Cut Crease Canvas and just create a little bit of like a triangle in the center of my eye. I'm just gonna take some of this off with a flat brush as well. Now what I like to do is I like to just place a little bit on the lower portion of my lid and then look up <laughs> and it will give me the point where I need to, you know, keep my base. You know what I'm trying to say. <laughs> Okay, so now that I have that base down, I'm going to go into this shade here. It's like a green, a really pretty green shimmer shade and place that over that base. Okay, so now I'm gonna go back into that first green shade and just kind of tap a little bit of it next to the inner and outer edges of that halo eye so it is not so sharp. <laughs> just to tone down the edges a little bit. Now you guys know I am dying to throw some of that blue <laughs> in here with this green, but I'm gonna keep it monochromatic today. We're gonna stick with the green. So I'm gonna go ahead, clean up some of this fallout. I don't know if you can see it, but I do have a little bit of fallout from those shadows before I place my eyeliner. Okay, all cleaned up. Now for eyeliner, I'm gonna go in with my NYX and this is their matte black liquid eyeliner. I love this stuff, you guys. It is pretty affordable. I actually think it's on sale at Ulta right now for the holiday sale. Um, but I just love this long, thin applicator. It just makes it so much easier to create wings, <laughs> to create wings, to create wings. <laughs> so, I really, really like it. Okay, so eyeliner is done. Pretty big, bold wing today for this green look. Now to move on to the face, I'm going to be using this e.l.f. Blurring Primer Serum. So this is what it looks like. I've only used it a time or two before and I'm not really sure if I like it or not. It kind of felt, if I'm remembering correctly, a little bit tacky. This does come with like a dropper and I don't know. So I'm gonna see how 
how I feel about this today. <laughs> it doesn't really smell like anything to me. Yeah, it doesn't have a scent to me. Um, I don't know. It doesn't feel tacky. I can feel it on my face, but I don't know. It... I can't really describe it. It doesn't feel tacky or sticky, really. It just, I can feel it. <laughs> and for foundation today, I'm going in with my NYX Born to Glow. And I have the shade Cappuccino. So I'm going to be using a damp Paw Paw sponge today, I think. I've been using my brush for a while and I really, really like using my brush, but I think I'm gonna go in with a sponge today. So if you've never seen this foundation before, this is the consistency, and this is the color of cappuccino. And I know I've talked about these Shop Miss A sponges before, this one is one of the paw paw sponges which are like a dollar 55 i believe oh my gosh i love these sponges they're super duper soft i guess some people like a more firm sponge but i don't it's <laughs> it's nice and soft and i just really really love these sponges so as you can see Compared to my forehead, you know, it's a really nice coverage that this foundation gives a nice soft glow and I really like it. I like this shade as well. So very nice, affordable foundation. And for concealer today, I'm going in with my e.l.f. Camo Concealer. Now, I'm, I just noticed I'm using quite a few e.l.f. products today, but e.l.f. is so affordable and they do have some really nice um, products you know I mean some of their products not so great but now with this elf concealer I really like it I know a lot of people <laughs> are like eh, no thank you but I don't know for me I like it and it's really a coverage and shade thing for me. For me, the shade and the tone of my concealer is very, very important because, you know, at my age, <clears throat> under my eyes are gonna crease no matter what I do. No matter what I do, no matter what I use, they're not gonna be smooth like I'm 20 or something. You know, it's just not gonna happen. So, you know, I don't really go crazy if I get a little bit of creasing, but the shade of the color that I use. What color is this? Deep Cinnamon. I really like it. So that along with the fact that it does blend out nicely for me. I know some people say that it's hard to blend out. I don't know why. I never have any issues blending it out, um, especially with a damp sponge. So I don't know. I like it. <laughs> Now to set in those highlighted areas, I'm going to use my Maybelline Fit Me Loose Powder, and this is in the shade Deep. So I'm gonna go in with this just to set those highlighted areas. And to set the rest of my face, I'm going to use my Kiss New York Professional Pro Touch Matte Powder Foundation. <laughs> so I am going to use this just to powder up the rest of my face. And this is in the color Toffee Caramel. I like this powder. It's a very nice, 
powder to use to set your foundation. It just gives you a nice, flawless, seamless look. I like it, very affordable. I think I got this, yeah, for like seven bucks at my local beauty supply store. Okay, so now I wanna bronze slash contour up a bit. And I'm a little scared to use this. I've had this full spectrum CoverGirl bronzer for the longest and because it looks so deep and so red, I'm scared to use it. Every time I say I'm gonna use it, I kind of back out. <laughs> but it's just i don't know it's very cocolicious okay but i really want to use this today so i'm gonna go in with a light hand the shade on this is ebony <laughs> so all right ebony it's you and me Okay, so I went in with a very light hand on this side and just kind of tapped off the excess. And yeah, it's not too bad, but I know that I have to go in light with this and just kind of build it up. Oh, wow. Okay, that's not bad. I like that a lot. I like it a lot. Oh my gosh. You guys, it really bronzes me up nicely. I like it. Okay, I don't have to be scared of it anymore because, honey, I was scared of this stuff. Okay, you guys, so I have this new palette that I picked up. I've been looking at this palette for the longest. This is the BH Cosmetics Glowing in Grease Six Color Blush and Highlighter Palette. So it's been out for quite a while and I've seen, you know, a lot of people using it. And every time I look at it, I'm just like, uh, I don't know you know I don't know I know this blush will probably look really nice on me so I'm gonna go ahead and try that out today and then go in with this highlighter down here and so here's a close-up so as you can see those blush shades are really really pretty and I'm gonna go in with this highlighter today so Woohoo! okay Oh, that blush has shimmer in it. <laughs> and I don't like shimmery blushes because I have texture on my skin. So yeah, it doesn't look like it has shimmer in it. Does it? Maybe I'm missing it. But this one, does it look like it has shimmer? I don't know. But yeah, it has shimmer in it. You see that? It's like, it looks like I'm already highlighting my face. That's how much shimmer is in there. It's pretty, but mm, not what I had planned. <laughs> not what I had planned at all. Okay, so yeah, that's like a highlight. Oh my goodness, okay. Well, I'm gonna be using that for my blush slash highlight today. Cause I'm not putting on more highlight on top of that. I want to try a little bit of this shade just to see if I can get a little bit more color on my cheeks and not just all the shimmer. Let me see if this one is matte. Okay, so that's giving me a little bit more color. So yeah, maybe I should just stick with that and then use the other one for highlights. Yeah, I definitely don't see all of that shine in the other, in this one. So, and it is nicely pigmented as you can see. <laughs> so yeah, I'm gonna blend that out in a minute. Don't freak out. Okay, yeah, I like that blush color. It's very pretty. Now, even though I said I wasn't gonna add highlighter, I do wanna see how this highlighter looks. So I'm gonna go into this right here and just place a little bit in my usual C area for my highlighter. Yeah, cause I know it's gonna make me glow more than that blush did, yeah.
Oh, that's pretty. I really, really like that. That's pretty. Bling. Bling. <laughs> So let's go ahead and finish up these eyes, you guys. I'm going to go in with one of my Morphe eyeliners, and this is just a green one. I'll try to remember to list everything down below. Okay, and to smoke out my lower lash line, I'm going to go in with this shade here. I feel like I see a little bit of fallout. Yeah, small amount of fallout, but it's brushing away very easily. And for my inner corner pop today, I'm going to go into this shade here. It kind of looks like a very, very fine, fine glitter, but we shall see. And I'm going to spray. Ooh, child. <laughs> whoa hello oh my gosh what is going on it's like a foil oh, okay okay hello it was popping in <laughs> all right yeah that is bright okay yeah so that's definitely some kind of like foiled glitter type shadow so you will definitely get fallout from that if you don't spray your brush or use a little glitter glue um you know and you got to be careful with it because it it can get in your eye yeah be careful with that shade because honey you will get glitter fallout <laughs> glitter fallout okay if you do not use a glitter glue i didn't realize it was so glittery but it is very glittery very pretty but very glittery okay so for mascara today i'm going to be using my la girl volumatic lash lifting mascara it just looks like this and this is what the wand looks like it has those like plastic pointy bristles it took me a long time to get used to using wands like this. I used to hate them, but I actually like what it does to my lashes. So I've kind of gotten used to using them now because I like how they work. Okay, mascara's on, so let's move on to the lips. I think I'm going to just keep it kind of simple. <laughs> I'm going to go in with my ColourPop BFF4 Lip Liner. And is this slow down or speed up? I think this is my slow down lipstick from ColourPop as well. It's like a matte lipstick. And I'm probably going to go on top of that with some lip gloss. This is my Essence Shine, Shine, Shine lip gloss that I got from Ulta. I think I'm just going to dab the gloss just for a little bit of shine. Okay, and so to set this affordable face in place, I'm going to use my Wet n Wild Photo Focus Rose or Rose Spray. This is a three in one, so you can use it to prep your skin before makeup, you can use it to set your makeup, or you can use it to like refresh your face and refresh your makeup. So we're gonna go ahead and use it to set this face in place. I really, really like this Wet n Wild Rose scented spray. 
I don't know why I don't use it more often because I really like it. It smells really good. It feels good. It's just, you know, it gives me a nice, healthy glow. I like it. So combined with the NYX Born to Glow Foundation and this Wet n Wild Setting Spray, you can get your glow on, okay? <laughs> so you guys let me know in the comment section down below what you think about this basic green eye look. Pretty bold wing, but it's a basic green eye look. And how all of these other drugstore or affordable products played on my face. Let me know what you think down below. I like how this look came out. Even the shiny blush. I'm kind of feeling it now. I'm kind of feeling it, okay? So, yeah, thank you guys so much for hanging out with me for another quick makeup tutorial and trying out some products. I like everything I used today, honestly. I really, really did. And this e.l.f earth and ocean palette not too bad for this green look okay y'all know i'm gonna have to dive into that blue side too but yeah the green is really really nice so thanks for watching and i will see you on my next video toodles